How does your mobile phone, tablet, computer or any other digital device store and send pictures? It doesn't matter if the picture is funny, cute or awe-inspiring. They are all stored and sent digitally using something called binary code. To understand how computers achieve this, we must first explore how a computer works. The smallest unit of data in a computer is a bit. A bit is a term derived from the words binary digit. A computer is composed of thousands of bits. Each one can be thought of as a single wire on an electrical circuit that conveys a signal. Each bit is like a light bulb which can only be in one of two states, either on or off. These on-off states are represented by a specific number. One for on, zero for off. Computers string together large sequences of ones and zeros or bits to represent complex data and instructions or to construct an image. These sequences are known as binary. The computer screen is split up into pixels which is represented in grid form, in this case 11 by 8. The computer then places a binary number from the sequence in each square going from left to right. Each square containing a 1 is coloured in and the square containing a 0 is left blank. This forms an image. Digital devices use this principle to create complex images by utilising extremely long sequences of binary code, therefore creating a more detailed picture. Now it's your turn. Using a sheet of squared paper, mark out a 25 by 25 area. Design your own image by colouring in the squares. Add your binary code to each square from left to right on each row. Write down your unique code and swap it with another student. Did the other student create the same image as your original? What changes would you make to basic 1 and 0 binary code to include colours for your next image? Created using Paltoon.